When transporting coal cargoes, the IMSBC code states that the atmosphere in the space above the coal must be regularly monitored for methane, oxygen and carbon monoxide. It is also good practice to measure hydrogen sulphide. Coal can be prone to oxidation, significant self-heating or the emission of methane. Occasionally coal can emit methane and additionally self-heat. That's why accurate gas readings are vital to avoid cargo fire or explosion. To enable accurate readings, the multi-gas detection meter must be correctly serviced, calibrated and regularly bump tested. Gas readings must be taken via the fitted sampling points. Follow these steps to get an accurate gas reading. Insert the spark-proof metal tube into the sampling point and ensure an airtight seal. Connect the sampling tube. Draw a sample until steady readings are obtained. Record the results. Replace the sealing cap. Oxygen, carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulphide levels can be read directly with any meter and at any hold atmosphere oxygen level. Oxidation of coal in closed, unventilated holds will exhaust available oxygen and this can prevent accurate meter readings. In particular, methane levels can be unreliable if the hold atmosphere oxygen level falls to 10% or less, so the following steps need to be taken to ensure a correct methane reading. If your meter has an infrared sensor, you can be assured that the methane reading will be correct at all hold oxygen levels and you can rely on the normal sampling results for all gases. If your meter has a catalytic sensor fitted, you must check the hold oxygen level. If this is 10% or less, then it is necessary to take dilution readings for oxygen and methane. For oxygen, take both normal and dilution readings. For methane, only dilution readings are required. If a diluter fitment is provided, follow manufacturer's instructions. Alternatively, dilution readings can be taken using a splitter. To use a splitter, follow this procedure. Ensure all connections are airtight. Keep both tubes in the fresh outside air and draw a sample until the LEL reading is steady at 0%. Connect one tube to the sampling point and leave the other tube in fresh air. Run until a steady reading of methane, LEL level, is obtained. Record the dilution readings for methane level and oxygen level. Remove the splitter and connect a single tube between the meter and the sampling point. Draw a sample until gas levels are steady. Record the hold atmosphere oxygen, carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulphide levels. To correct the methane reading and find the true LEL for methane, use this equation. Now you have accurate readings, follow the IMSBC codes coal schedule for ventilation requirements, which depend on the gas levels found.